Several dignitaries, associates and family members converged on St. Peter's Anglican Church, Lagos Street, Benin City, to pay their last respect to late Pa Joseph Igbinoma here Idehe. <laughs> In a sermon titled, The Final and Great Harvest, Anglican Bishop of Beni Dalsi, Peter Imaswen, who was represented by the vicar of the church, Vulnerable Moses Onuake, said Christians should be involved in the propagation of the gospel, just as Pa Joseph Igbinowahia Idehe impacted positively on humanity. It's for so many to get prepared. And that was the reason why this servant of the Lord gave his life to Christ. He may not be a perfect man at the beginning, but one thing was done for in his life, he keep coming closer and closer to God. Children, family members, friends and associates, including the bosom friend of the deceased, Isama of Bini, said Chief Dr. Gabriel Sawai Binajan and his wife, Lady Cherry Binajan, the managing director, independent television and radio, engineer Elvis Obaseki, Justice Odemi Gye, wife who retired, Chairman Oedo Local Government, Dr. Tom Obaseki, and other notable personalities paid glowing tributes to late Pa Joseph Igbinowahia after the funeral service, the body of late Pa Joseph Igbinowahi Idehe was conveyed to his residence at Ugbo Road, G.R. Ebenin, for interment at the graveside where a retinue of Anglican priests offered prayers. We pray and consecrate. Oh, no. Some children, family members, and some guests said the disease left an indelible mark. A very kind man, but more importantly, he was a fantastic parent. He's the best dad anyone could ever have. If there's another life, I want him to be my dad. But we'll miss his talking, sharing experiences. I remember my grandfather, for the advices he used to give us as the grandchildren, Late Peter Joseph Igbinowahia Idehe died in October this year at the age of 95. Deborah Ugbefun, ITV News.